A couple of years ago, I built my very own AR-15. It was a fun project that had a big payoff in the end. But what can you do with all those empty shell casings? Let's make the Bullet Beacon. You can pick up all kinds of empty shell casings at the range, so I'll be using this 3 8 rifle cartridge. I'll have to cut the top off of this bullet, so I'll use my Dremel to accomplish that task. Once the very tip is off, I'll use this sanding attachment just to make it smooth and give it a better look. This hex nut and washer combo will do the trick at the very front of our bullet beacon, but we need to modify that as well. So we'll use another Dremel sanding attachment and we're going to round out that nut. I put a bolt through the nut so I had something to hold on to. I took my time and kept double checking the fit as I went along. When I was done, the hex nut fit snugly inside of our bullet casing. And now it's time to pick an LED. I narrowed it down to either a blue one, this amber one that looks more red, but then finally decided on a super bright white LED. And what do you know, that LED fit perfectly inside the hex nut. Okay, so in addition to the hex nut and the LED, we're also going to need a small spring and then a very small momentary switch. The spring will be used to make contact with the batteries we'll put inside and the switch will turn on our bullet beacon. So let's get to that momentary switch which we're going to mount right on the bullet casing. I trimmed off two of the four legs of the switch because we only need two for this project and drilled two small holes exactly where I wanted the switch to go. One wire will go to one leg of the switch so I soldered that in place and then I'm going to put a small piece of heat shrink tubing to prevent any shorts. Now it's time to feed the wire from our switch inside the hole and pull it out the end. The other leg of the switch will simply be bent down and soldered on the inside so it makes contact with the casing. I picked up two small button cell batteries that will fit right inside our bullet beacon. Now let's get to the LED. We're going to bend the positive leg straight down, then we're going to add some hot glue to prevent any shorts, and we'll slip the small spring on the negative leg. Then we'll make a solder connection there and solder the one wire from our switch to the positive leg of the LED. Then it's just a matter of lining up our LED assembly, pushing the wire inside, and our bullet beacon is done. And if you want to stick it on your keychain, just solder a small ring to the end. And that's how to make the bullet beacon out of an empty shell casing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.